Yo, what's up YouTube? Eddie Scott here. About to show you guys today the number one best strategy to run TikTok ads for your clothing brand. So let's get right into it. We're not gonna waste no time. Be sure to like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to subscribe for more clothing brand finance entrepreneurship content. Hey, let's get straight to it. All right, so let me get my computer put up here. TikTok is the number one platform in 2023. I'm just gonna keep it that simple. Whatever content you're making on social media, you should be promoting on TikTok heavy. And especially in 2023, I'll definitely say TikTok over Instagram. Mind you, you should be using both. But TikTok is so powerful because you can literally reach an audience overnight organically without having to pay. Like you could go post a video right now with zero followers, brand new account, post a video and get 10K views overnight. You know what I'm saying? That's impossible on a platform like Instagram. And so with TikTok ads, you already have the organic outreach that TikTok gives you. And so just putting money behind it just makes it so much more powerful. And everybody's on TikTok nowadays. So if you wanna get your brand in front of eyeballs as fast as possible and as cheap as possible, TikTok is the way to go. Facebook ads, Instagram ads are so oversaturated now because everybody's running them. So when you migrate over to TikTok, start running these TikTok ads for your clothing brand, you're going to see incredible results. And so I'm gonna walk you guys through how to set up a TikTok ad account, set up your ad account for success, the type of ads to run, and the number one strategy to use for your TikTok ads. So let me get this ads manager put up here. I'll we'll go to ads.tiktok.com, boom. See it will load, it takes you to the screen right here. Just click create now. If you don't have an account, it's fine. You'll make one right here. To this page, you can sign up. As you can see, I already have an account. So I'll just click sales lifestyle right here. Boom. And let's see, we haven't been using this one lately. So we'll just come over to campaign. And this is where you will see your main dashboard. This is where we're gonna spend the most amount of your time in this little campaign tab. And so as you can see, it may seem confusing at first. I'm about to break it down for you guys. So really all you need to know is these three tabs right here. If I scroll down, we have campaign, we have ad group, and we have ad. And so those three are the main three factors that you're gonna be looking for when you're running ads. All the campaign is, is like the container that your ad is gonna be in. Your ad group or ad sets is how you're going to test different interests, different demographics, different age groups. Basically, whoever you're targeting with your ads is going to be put in this ad group tab. And then the ad is the ad itself, the creative, the text, the video that makes people buy. And so let's come back out here to campaign. Let's go ahead and create a campaign just to walk you guys through this process. I'm gonna go ahead and click create. No load for a bit. Usually if you're first starting off, it will give you like a screen that says if you want to use simplified mode or advanced mode, always use advanced mode. As you can see right here, simplified mode or custom mode. No, we're going to click cancel. You always want to stay in custom mode because it gives you the most flexibility, the most amount of control over your ads. And so as you can see, coming into here, you'll be able to create a new campaign. You're going to be able to click an advertising objective. And so I'm assuming if you're running an ad for your clothing brand, you probably want to get sales. And so if you want to get sales for your clothing brand, the two main objectives that you're going to want to look at are traffic and website conversions. Both of these are going to send people to your website, whether you have a Shopify store or whatever platform you may have. Traffic is more concerned about getting people to your website. And so it's going to show your ads to people who may not have the most purchase intent, but they're very likely to click on your ad and scroll through your website. And so if you want to just get mass amounts of traffic to your website, kind of play the numbers game, get as many people to your site, see how many people want to buy, definitely use the traffic objective or you can use the website conversions objective, which is TikTok will target people who are likely to buy your product. And so you may spend a little bit more on cost per link click, cost per lead, but you will be targeting people who are likely to convert or likely to buy on your website. And so definitely test. It really depends on your clothing brand and the type of ads that you run, which one gets better results. Honestly, for us, we just run regular traffic ads and they do great for us. And so it's really up to you to test and see which ones do great. So for the sake of time, let's just run a traffic ad. Boom, we'll say campaign name. Like I said, let's say we're selling a t-shirt, t-shirt, boom. 
Don't worry about any of this stuff, category, split size, campaign. You don't really need to worry about that. Just do continue. And now we're into the ad group. And so, like I said, the ad group is how you are going to target different sets of people that you wanna test. Let's say your clothing brand is about finance, right? And so you have a clothing brand that's about money, making money, finance, things of that sort. You may think that targeting money, stock trading, crypto, like those type of interests will get you the best results. But when you test different ad groups, you may see that streetwear interests are actually getting you better results than what you thought would get you results in the finance niche. And so this is why it's important to test different interests, test different demographics to see what works best for your brand. And so you can name your ad group. I recommend naming your ad group whatever you wanna test. And so let's say we're testing these different interests, right? So we'll stay with that finance niche. Let's say this one, we're gonna test people who are interested in finance, right? Boom. Promotion type app website, we have a website. Automatic placement, you wanna click select placement. You don't wanna do automatic placement because as you can see right here, TikTok will put your ads on like the most random apps that they have in China. Like you're just wasting your money. So make sure you only have TikTok selected. You wanna scroll down, come down here to targeting. And this is how you are going to target your target audience. Who do you want to see your ad? And so TikTok is very smart. You could click automatic targeting and kind of let it figure out based on the content that's in your ad, even like your TikTok page, what it's about. But I think it's best at first, especially starting off, to use custom targeting. And so you kind of select who you want to see your ads. So let's come down here. So let's scroll down here to interest. As you see, ad interest. This is where you're going to choose who you want to see your brand. What type of interest, what type of demographic, what type of thing that people are interested in. Those type of people that you want to see your brand. And so you're going to want to test it out. As you can see, we got this finance 18 and 24 demographic up here. So we already have 18 and 24 selected in age. Let's say anything related to finance. So let's say money. Boom. As you can see, we have money management and bookkeeping, easy money, save money. You're going to want to select as many of these general interests as possible so that you can get a wide range of people who can see your ad. Additional interests are cool if it's something very specific. Like let's say your brand is about saving money, right? Um, saving money, boom. You can go ahead and click that. Even though the audience size is very small, you want to add that in there. But like I said, you want as many of these general interests as possible. So money management, boom. Let's say you want something else specific like crypto. Your brand is about crypto. Crypto trading, cryptocurrency trading, you go ahead and load those up in there. And so we got some interests. Definitely play around with those for yourself. Test different interests, different demographics, different age groups. See what works best for your brand. See what gives you the lowest cost per link click and the most conversions for the best price possible. But yeah, let's go in and keep moving. Like I said, don't really worry about these three down here. Just want to focus on these main interests up here. And so device, don't worry about device. You don't want to discriminate. You want everybody seeing your ad, you feel me? Daily budget, it usually starts off at 30. I think the lowest you can go is 20. Yeah, so I say start off at 20 because you want to test. When you're first starting off, you want to be able to test as many different ads as possible. So you don't want to be burning your money, throwing money down the drain on stuff that doesn't work, stuff that doesn't convert. And so just go ahead and test. You could have like five different ads or five different ad sets running at $20 a day and you spend $100 a day total and see which ad spends the $20 the most effectively and gets the most conversions, the most leads, traffic to your website. And so schedule, just go in and run it as soon as possible. Get them up and running. Day partying, don't worry about that. You want your ads running all throughout the day. Bidding and optimization, goal is click or the goal would be conversions if you ran your ad for website conversions bid strategy keep this at lowest cost because as it may be obvious but i just feel like it needs to be said you want to be spending as little as possible on your ads so that your profit margins are as high as possible you want to spend the least amount of money to make the most amount of money and so we're going to go ahead and click next to take us to the ad creative and this is where we're about to get into the best strategy to run ads for your clothing brand on tiktok so when it comes to running ads on tiktok 
it's important to know that TikTok is a very different platform from Instagram, Facebook, things of that sort. If you're used to running ads for your clothing brand on a platform like Instagram, you may be used to getting like, you know, very high quality pictures of your clothing or even like super cinematic videos of people wearing your merch. When it comes to TikTok, TikTok is very different. TikTok is all about that organic content, homemade style. And so you want your ads on TikTok to not really seem like ads. You just want it to be in a natural flow. Because let's say you're on TikTok yourself. Think from your own perspective. If you're scrolling on TikTok, you see a bunch of videos that you like, a bunch of funny stuff, a bunch of memes, and you're scrolling and you see an ad, like, and you know that it's an ad from like a big brand, you know, very cinematic, like you just know that it's an ad. You're gonna keep scrolling because you're naturally inclined to want to avoid ads. But if you're scrolling through the regular FYP TikTok feed, and you see a video that looks like a regular video, got regular text on the screen, it looks like it was recorded on the iPhone. You may not realize like five seconds into the video, you're like, oh shoot, this is somebody's ad for their brand, but you didn't even notice because it looked just like a regular TikTok. And so the best strategy for TikTok ads for your clothing brand is to make ads that aren't really ads. You just wanna make regular TikTok videos. It's that simple. And this is what I like to do. You know, if I just go into FYP, Let's just say, let me turn on my volume. And I click the home page. Boom. Boom. Like, let's say something motivation fitness right here, like this, right? I would save this. I would share it to myself. I would like send an iMessage to myself. And then, if I want to make an ad that's based on this type of content, that's like motivation fitness for my clothing brand, maybe it would be people like wearing my merch, but it'll have some text on the screen to like kind of promote what's going on. So like nobody doesn't really know that it's an ad. It looks like a regular TikTok video, but it's promoting my product. And then when you run ads through the TikTok ads manager, you'll be able to get a little button down here that says shop now or buy now, something of that sort. And so the best strategy to run ads on TikTok is to not run ads, but to make TikToks. And so you wanna post as many TikToks as possible on your page. You wanna figure out what works for your clothing brand. So once you really figure out your flow, you start seeing some videos that are getting higher view counts than others, then you can start to put money behind those videos that are doing well already. And so let's say you have a TikTok video that's already doing well, you wanna put some money behind it. This is how you're gonna implement this best strategy for TikTok. Right here, we're in the ad page now. You're gonna to wanna to use this little feature right here. As you can see under the identity tab, it says use TikTok account to deliver Spark ads. Remember that name, Spark ads. Spark ads are very powerful. And essentially Spark ads allow you to take ads, not even ads, TikToks that are already on your page, like on our Sailor Lifestyle page here, a regular video that's already here, and you could take it, this, art, this video that's already made, that already has engagement, you could put it on the ad platform, the ad manager, and start spending money, put money behind it, and it will put the little button, like I said, that says shop now. And yeah, it'll help you run ads that way. Very powerful. TikTok is genius for doing this. Instagram is something similar, but I really like how TikTok does it. So we're gonna come right here, we're gonna click, use TikTok account to deliver Spark ads. Boom. And then it'll say set what TikTok account you'd like to use. You don't really have to worry about that. You just come right here to where it says use other authorized or account or post. Boom. So I'm gonna go ahead and start screen recording on my phone for you guys. Let's say I need a TikTok postcode so that I can run a Spark ad through the ads manager. I'm gonna come here to the sales slash on TikTok page. Let's say, I'm trying to think of one that I haven't used already. Boom, okay. I'm gonna click the settings, scroll to add settings, click that, right? And it's gonna give me some options. You're gonna wanna click add authorization, boom. Do you wanna click generate? As you can see, generate video code and share it with the brand so they can start promoting with Spark ads. So you're gonna click generate, just do the max 365 days, authorize, and then click save. And so this is giving me a little system error for you guys. It's really giving me a hard time. They don't want y'all to be great watching this video. So let me pick one that I already have that's already saved. Let's go down here. I think I already used this one. Was testing this one out. So I'll come to add settings. Click manage, click copy code, right? Video code copy. 
and I'm gonna come on my computer. I have a Mac and an iPhone so it can go between them. Whatever you gotta do to copy, if you gotta text yourself, email to yourself, just get the code, copy it on the computer, boom, and it'll look something like that. It got a hashtag before it, bunch of random characters. You wanna click search, boom. And as you can see, it will show you right there the ad that was on your TikTok. And so once you authorize the TikTok post, you're going to, want to scroll down here, come back out, come to TikTok post. I'm going to click the one that I just copied in. When your hoodie available now, confirm. As you can see, it implements it right there into the ad manager. And now we're all good to go. All the engagement that was already on that TikTok post is going to be on the ad, which is powerful for social proof because which one would you rather buy from as a customer? A ad for a hoodie that has five likes and zero comments or an ad that has 500 likes and 50 comments. You know what I'm saying? It's all about that social proof. And so the Spark ads will help you have that social proof. Don't turn on music sharing. Um, text is going to be locked in for whatever you put as a caption. So definitely make sure your caption is something that is moving the customer towards action. Something like hoodie available now, use code blah, blah, blah for discount shop now, something of that sort. Um, don't worry about interactive add-ons. Website, you will want to use your collections page or your product page. Definitely test them out, see which one works best for you. I was at salesupsell.com slash collections slash all. I realized from my brand for Sales Lifestyle, even if we're doing the ad for a specific product page, just taking them to the all products page where they can just scroll and find the product for themselves helped with our conversions for some reason maybe it's because they're able to see other products that they like and they feel like they're finding it on their own i don't know so definitely test for your own brand we'll put that right there and make sure you put https boom boom right so it's a valid url definitely click on customize call to action i want to click edit go to standard if you're doing this for your clothing brand you want to sell a product I will make sure, as you see, it's recommended. I will make sure that it says shop now. That's highly like, just do shop now. There's no reason to do any of these other ones. Just make sure you do shop now. Website events, you're gonna select the pixel. And if you don't have a pixel, you're gonna click this create button right here. All the pixel is, is a little piece of code that goes on your Shopify store or other website. And it basically connects your website with the TikTok ads manager and gives it a bunch of data. And so once you create a pixel for your TikTok manager, you put it on your website. It's a real simple process. You come back here to website events, make sure you use the one that's active, boom. And then, yeah, you click submit and then you're good to go. And then once you click submit, usually it takes maybe a couple hours, if that, maybe a couple minutes for your ad to get approved, especially the first time. The more you run ads, the more TikTok becomes familiar with your ad account. Your ads will start getting approved like literally immediately. So yeah, I just walked you through how to run TikTok ads for your clothing brand with the best strategy, which is using Spark ads, using videos, regular TikTok videos that you already posted on your TikTok and using them, spending money behind them, using them for your ad strategy. So the biggest thing with this information that you now have is testing. You want to test the different ads that you run, see what works best for your brand. What works best for my brand may not work best for your brand. What may work best for a t-shirt is not going to work best for a hoodie. And so just a bunch of different things. Just test, see what works best, get the lowest cost per link click as possible, lowest cost per purchase as possible. You want to spend as little money as possible to make as much money as possible. So that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. How to run TikTok ads for your clothing brand. If you enjoyed the video, if it provided value to you in some way, be sure to leave a like for YouTube algorithm. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more clothing brand finance entrepreneurship content. Be sure to turn on post notifications so that you never miss another video from me. If you want to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, be sure to either join my Discord server. If you want something a little bit more personal for your own brand, I offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So be sure to check that out in the description below. I'm out of here. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see from me next in the comments. Feel free to let me know. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Be great. Keep going. Don't stop. The only person that can stop you is you. So keep going until you get what you want. Let's get it.